Reverend Al Sharpton was in Tallahassee yesterday, where he was joined by black leaders and civil rights activists to protest Governor Ron DeSantis's opposition to a new College Board Advanced Placement course in African American Studies. After 57 years of Jim Crow, it was education, Brown versus the Board of Education, that kicked off in 1954 that inspired Rosa Parks to sit down a year later in 1955. If you would study history, Governor, you would have known to mess with us in education always ends to your defeat. You talk about Florida is where woke died. We went from woke to work. And we will work on you, DeSantis, until we tell the whole story. Sharpton led a rally with several hundred people, including black lawmakers and clergy from a local church to the Capitol, to protest the DeSantis administration's objections to the course, as well as recent moves such as expanding a state program to transport migrants from the southern border to other states. DeSantis has shown no signs of backing away from the College Board controversy and now wants to explore ways for Florida to avoid doing business with the nonprofit altogether. And Reverend Sharpton joins us now. I want to talk to you as well as uh, about the sentencing of the Buffalo shooter and those incredibly emotional moments in the courtroom. But we're talking about two Americas, whether it's in Buffalo or Florida. What did you learn from the rally? Well, what I learned is that people are genuinely incensed uh, by what the governor's doing. Uh, because for the governor and the college board mm -hmm. to decide to say what part of black history uh, is comfortable to uh, Floridians, basically white Floridians, is uh, as, as offensive as you can get. And they're not limiting just to black studies, uh, but LGBTQ rights as well as women. And uh, we're talking about, uh, uh, and you have me, me, uh, Meacham here, you, you, we're talking about a period where uh, we have a history of this, mm -hmm. where you must remember one of the most uh, uh, effective ways of dehumanizing blacks in slavery was it was against the law for us to read and write. And then it was against the law for whites to teach us. So education was always something we always saw as our key to yes. coming out of being enslaved yes. because our ability to read and write. Now you're going to limit what we can read and write in AP classes? Like, people won't uh, uh, be able to handle watching movements like the Civil Rights Movement, like the Black Lives Matter Movement, like LGBTQ rights. And it is not to condemn the country, it's to show how the country evolved. We need to know we went from slavery to electing Barack Obama. And to try and eliminate that, I think, is un-American as much as it is racist. So, Reverend Sharpton, I'll leave the importance of the history to, to John Meacham, but the politics of it, two parts. First, did you have any engagement from Governor DeSantis's office yesterday uh, in the wake of this event? And then how concerned are you that other states might follow his lead? No, we had no engagement, uh, and there was a couple of thousand people there. Le every elected official just about in the, in the uh, black uh, caucus and Latinos in, in the uh, state legislature there, and every major pastor from all over Florida. No engagement. Wasn't looking for it, because I think he's playing petty politics, as, as the... Uh, Social philosopher Joe Scarborough says he's, he's a day trader. He's mm. looking at now. He's not looking at history. He wants to be baby Trump. He's going to use race like Trump did. Don't forget the entry of Donald Trump into presidential politics was birtherism. Oh, yeah. And he's baby Trump. I'm going to use this against blacks. I'm going to use this against migrants. That might that be better than my, meatball. Th yeah, that, oh, that meatball wrong. Yeah. baby yeah. Trump fits him. He's a yeah. miniature Trump trying to grow and be like daddy and daddy spanks him and they're having a little inside fight and oh, family fight, but they're the same thing. And I think that the, the, the fear though is what you raise. If he can get away with this and cement this in Florida, it will be used in other states because he's basically trying to do a states' rights movement. We'll decide in mm. this state who gets an yeah. abortion. We decide in this state how education goes. And the whole civil rights movement was against states' rights. We needed federal protection against states segregating us. John Meacham. 
the remarkable one of the remarkable things I think about when you, this debate comes up is John Lewis is born in a segregated Alabama in 1940. Cannot vote until 1966, 1968. Parents can't vote. He is buried from Lincoln's catafalque in the capital of the United States. He goes from not seeing a white person except for the mailman until he's 14 years old to being honored as a statesman of the republic. That story itself is the country. It's not that the struggle's over. But if you can't engage the complexity of history, then we can't become a more perfect union. Because if we don't know what these forces are, and they are perennial, it, this is about taming these forces. It's about managing and marshalling them. That's right. Because we're sinful and fallen and frail. And the American story is really just enough of us did just enough of the right thing at the right moment to push right. us forward. And that's a hugely important story. And is it political? Absolutely. But political politics is about people. And if we don't create a habit of heart and mind where we engage this, then the experiment is in terrible shape. Terrible danger. Reverend Nell, I want to talk to you about the um, sentencing hearing yeah. yesterday in Buffalo. It's uh, just a few minutes past the top of the hour. So